Okay, so likely you thought about, hmm, I wonder what it's like becoming a bridesmaid or maybe you were just asked to be a bridesmaid. Now before you say that immediate yes, here are some top things that you should consider before actually diving in and making that commitment. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jess and I am the owner of Not Just the Planner, which is an event planning and designing company here in the West Coast. And I'm here to bring you tips, tricks, and ideas um, full of wedding planning. So if you are new to the community, hi. And if you'd love to learn more about the event industry, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you'll always know when I post a new one. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so there are a few things that you need to know before the actual wedding, pre-wedding stuff. So first up we have is shopping. So shopping for, again, the attire of your dress. It could be helping her pick out her dress or his tux. It could be, you know, choosing certain things like candles or certain decor, helping them go to their mock appointment, which is what the decor will look like the day before with the rental company. Maybe only the maid of honor needs to assist her in that, but at least getting an expectation of like also what you would be needing to come with her or him to, to certain appointments. Next is planning. Are you required to help plan the bridal shower and are you required to help plan the bachelorette or bachelor party? Third is helping. So what are you exactly helping them with? Is there any part of the wedding that you will be needing to help them plan? Do they have a coordinator? I really really hope that they hire a coordinator. If you're if the bride or the groom is more of a DIY and there's certain things that they want to get done, then at least showing them that you're going to lend an open arm and handout to help them with certain assignments or things that they want to get done. That way you can also help alleviate some stress because as you know, we go into like being the duties of you know being a part of the wedding party which we'll be talking about in another video it's really important to understand how you can best be there for them because if they're asking you to be by their side then likely you know you're someone who's really really special that they want there with them as they become one the next thing is attendance so what are you required to come to likely it's the rehearsal dinner or rehearsal ceremony so that way the wedding party knows exactly where they were where they need to be it could also be you know i really really want all of my bridesmaids or groomsmen to come to the bachelor or bachelorette party the bridal shower i expect you to be at my dress or tux appointment understanding like where you need to be in attendance paying wise helping out wise and like understanding those things before the wedding that will really really help you to understand like okay with my job or with the things that I have going on in my personal life can I amount to these responsibilities okay now so this is day of the wedding now for the day of the wedding you are expected to help prepare the bride with anything that she needs help with like getting ready um, if there's anything that she needs to be set up likely she should have a wedding coordinator already setting that up but sometimes there are different circumstances for every different bride so just making sure that you're like there in the morning of helping them making sure that she's hydrated or he's hydrated has snacks well taken care of and isn't stressing like they're it's their day and that they're essentially happy and feeling effortless and seamless and that it's going to be an amazing day for them. So by you helping alleviate that stress the day of and helping them get prepared for the wedding, they will be so appreciative of it. The next thing that we have is be present. Make sure that you understand that it is his or her day and that whatever they're asking from you that you will take it with a grain of salt no matter if you disagree with it or you agree with it or you know it might not be something that you like or you want to do remind yourself that it is their special day and if this is something that they want then that's something that you're going to have to maybe bite your tongue and go ahead and do it anyways or figure out a way to solve that certain problem and making sure that you are fully fully present that day and that you know it is is about the celebration of love and that they are happy 
and that you are there every step of the way side by side because that is what it is to be a part of the wedding party and then we have post party so what are you supposed to do after the party now after the party what you want to do is you want to make sure that you took pictures and have memories that way you can look back at them or send them to the couple so that way the morning of they can look back and be like oh my god i didn't know this happened but that's so funny i, I wasn't there for that or maybe they were for, there for that and they remember that and doing these things is like a cliff notes version of what's expected to do before you say yes to being a bridesmaid or groomsman or groomsmaid whatever you call it but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up like subscribe if you want, and I will see you guys at the next video. All right, bye.